this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Georgia. And our question today comes to us from Azrael. And Azrael informs us that they are a Christian mystic. And in reading Raymond Buckland's complete book of witchcraft, encountered the idea that Wiccan's view got us and God as aspects of a still higher power. And Azrael finds this very interesting because this causes them to feel that the Christian idea of deity and the pagan idea of deity have much more in common than they formerly thought. The idea of one power split into multiple aspects. And Azrael would like my take on this. And the first thing that I would say is that Wicca is a very broad category, and so there will be differing opinions, but for the most part, yes, this is how the majority of Wiccans that I know, certainly, and the tradition that I come from, do look at deity. That deity is one universal power that runs through all things, but has many different aspects, and my favorite allegory for this is the allegory of the diamond, the idea that deity is like a diamond, having many different facets, which are all the different faces of deity, and that you can use any of these facets to access the heart of deity, which is in all things. And I would go so far as to say that not only are all different ideas of deity different facets of deity, but everything that exists is a facet of deity. You yourself are a facet of deity, which is part of what we mean when we say thou art God, but so are the trees, so is the grass, so is the earth itself. Everything which exists is part of deity, and deity is part of everything that exists. This is part of that idea of as above, so below, that everything in the created world is part and parcel of the creator and reflects the creator in all things. And therefore, ultimately, we would say, at least from my particular background, that there is ultimately only one soul in the universe, only one power in the universe, but it has expressed itself through a massive uh, tree of branches of different kinds of facets of itself. And depending on where you are in the tree, you can see the underlying unity or not. Uh, and these both serve their purpose. So yes, my answer would be that ultimately we do perceive goddess and God and everything else as being aspects of a single universal power. Most commonly you would hear us call that power spirit. And spirit is the so-called fifth element that runs through everything and that includes all forms of deity and all creatures and things in the created world. So those would be my thoughts on the matter. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for stability. Pray for the nation where you live. Pray for the world. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from witchschool.com. Are you looking for the best in pagan and magical education? With more than 12,000 pages, witchschool.com is like having your own personal library with individual learning assistance to help you study. And Witchschool's Anyone, Anytime, Anywhere education system is available any place on earth, anywhere you are and anytime you want it, as long as you have an internet connection. Which Schools lifetime memberships are a great value. They really do last a lifetime. They've been there for years and they'll be there for years to come. So get your membership today at whichschool.com.